it's Andrea Holmes, your Temecula Valley real estate expert, and today I am at Viva Vino Tapas and Wine Bar here in Old Town Temecula. If you're looking for great food, wine, and entertainment, this is the place to be. Let's check it out. I would like to introduce Sal Herrera, General Manager of Viva Vino. Hello. Sal, thanks so much for letting me be here today and Thank interview you, for being you. Thank you for being here. I know Viva Vino is known for this very unique dining experience, and I also know that you guys have the best sangria recipe here in the Temecula Valley. Um, but let's tell everybody why this is a place to come visit, and let's just go from there. Well, Viva Vino, we've been here for about uh, five years, and we really uh, predominantly uh, try to give our customers a unique experience, uh, both our return customers and brand new customers. We offer them um, something different that uh, Temecula is not really used to, and that is the whole Latin concept. So what we do is we have uh, brought the concept of Spain here to Old Town. Uh, we've uh, uh, offered some great Spanish cuisine, but we have also brought in some unbelievable Latin entertainment, as well as some other cool things that we do here, just to give our customers just that, once again, uh, very uh, unique experience. Very nice. So I do have a question for you. I know you guys are known for serving something called tapas. A lot of people are not familiar with that. Can you tell me a little bit more about those? Exactly, exactly. Well, tapas, once again, is a concept that was uh, introduced in Spain. Um, the word tapa actually means to cover, and it's a funny story because uh, they used to actually use, in Spain, um, either a piece of ham or cheese to cover the glass so that, to cover the glass, you know, as can see the little catch there to cover the glass to make sure that flies were not flying into the wine. Forget the food, it was all about the wine. So um, what that did is it began a new, uh, a new tradition in Spain. Um, tapas sometimes are mistaken for appetizers, but that is not, you know, well, not what tapas are. They are served in many uh, different sized portions. And what tapas are are dishes intended to share. Um, it produces a lot of conversation at the table. So like a couple for two would order maybe three or four um, different um, dishes and talk about them, talk about the great flavors, and uh, um, that's what you know, tapas are. Once again, to produce a lot of conversation at the table and uh, to produce a lot of happiness. That's it. So if I were to come here on a Friday night with my girlfriends, what would you recommend that we order? Well, if you're coming here, um, once again, like I said, we're bringing the whole concept of Spain, so you have to try the signature dish of Spain, which is also our signature dish, and that is our paella. Uh, paella um, has a a great history behind it. it is a rice dish but uh, there's so many ways to uh, to serve paella but in ours we uh, take the whole concept from uh, uh, Valencia, Spain and we uh, use um, mussels, shrimp, um, chicken and Spanish chorizo into our paella uh, then you pair that off with an, our, our in-house recipe sangria or one of our great Spanish uh, tempranillos and that is exactly what I would recommend to uh, you and your guests. That sounds amazing. So I know tonight is Thursday and what happens on Thursdays Thursday here at nights. Vino? Thursday nights we have uh, salsa lessons here. Um, salsa is just one of those types of dances. It's a very elegant dance. Um, it's a very uh, friendly dance, meaning you can come in by yourself uh, partner is not even necessary. You come here and you learn salsa lessons uh, every Thursday night mm -hmm. from 8 o'clock to 9 o'clock and the instructors will teach you the basic steps of salsa okay. and then that's when you'll be able to get into more of the technicalities as your lessons go on. But it's just an unbelievable vibe. Um, everybody here starts to grasp onto each other, know each other, and before you know it you're, you're addicted. Our, uh, our salsa instructors here have uh, have a motto here and their motto is um, salsa's changing lives is their motto so it has changed a lot of people's lives and it also is great cardio so you come out here and you can have a workout meet new friends and have a great time that sounds like fun so what time does salsa start at on thursdays well we have a lesson here the lesson is from eight o'clock to nine o'clock okay and then um, after the lesson uh Myself, I'm also the DJ here. I will play from nine o'clock uh, till 11:30, okay. and we do salsa, we do uh, cha cha, bachata, um, merengue, and we play until 11:30. And that's every Thursday night. And then our weekend entertainment. What do you guys offer? Weekend entertainment. Once again, our Fridays and Saturday nights are reserved for our Latin bands. So we bring uh, all different types of music here. Uh, we got a cumbia band from Colombia. We have uh, salsa bands from Puerto Rico. We have uh, some bands coming from Orange County that are bringing the whole flamenco concept here. As well as San Diego, we have a band that brings a lot of uh, like a Brazilian gypsy here. So we kind of hit uh, as many Latin countries as we can. 
Um, but it's 8.30 to 12, that's Fridays and Saturdays. Mm -hmm. Then on Sunday, we have one of the best sax players. We kind of go off our Latin theme on Sunday nights because this guy is so unbelievable. Um, great date night. Come on down, he has contemporary jazz and he also has um, implemented some Latin music into his uh, repertoire as well. That sounds amazing. So there's a couple more questions I have for you. Okay. And um, first one, or actually, you know what? Two questions first. So I heard through the rumor mill that you guys have the latest last call here in Temecula and that you also have a taco truck outside. So yes. tell me a little bit more about this. Yeah, so um, it's a funny story because um, just kind of going out and observing what's happening out here in Old Town, I kind of find out that uh, everyone's last call is between 1 and 1.15. Mm -hmm. Little light bulb went off in my head that from 1.15 till 2 o'clock in the morning, we legally are still able to serve um, wine and beer as well as in other drinks as well. So um, we decided to um, have our last call at 1.45 okay. because we, have, we are a little bit smaller. We have a more controlled um, environment here. We're able to control um, what goes on in here so we're able to do that and we've actually let um, our consumers um, have their wine, have their beer until 158 and uh, we'll make sure by 159 and 50 seconds that you know uh, there's no more alcohol out there and uh, during that time from 11 o'clock till 2 in the morning we also have a, a taco taco man that's outside serving um, both uh, chicken and beef for two dollars and fifty cents and we just wanted to give our customers um, a another option besides fast food, okay. you know, um, be another opportunity to to you know eat some food and, and get sober as well, so that uh, you know they actually they have uh, you know a little bit more sobriety before they go. That sounds really great. So last question of the evening is, tell me a little bit more about this painting over here. Well, we have painting lessons here uh, once to twice a month. Um, it's Brenda King with Art Fusion. She is unbelievable. She is talented. Our whole restaurant is decorated with her art. Um, she uh, is, like I said here, on, a, on one Sunday to, to two a month, and uh, she has her website, uh, but you can go on her website at um, artfusionbdk.com, uh, and you can sign up for one of the lessons, and she will take this painting and, and basically give you a blank canvas, and you will walk out with a painting that looks identical to this. And you might think, no way, there's no way I can do that, but Brenda is a miracle worker. Just so you guys can see the painting in full effect, let me move this bottle, or bottle, bottle excuse me, this glass of wine. Um, and I do know that they do a different painting every time. They just did a uh, breast cancer awareness painting, that's correct? That is right behind you there. Oh, yeah, it's the breast yeah. cancer painting. and. Um, and we actually had breast cancer uh, survivors here. They got their lesson for free and they got to tell their story. It was a pretty good and a very emotional emotional day, but once again, October is uh, Breast Can Cancer Research Awareness Month. So it was good to actually be able to, uh, you know, uh, be part of a great event like that. Yes, exactly. Well, thank you so much for the opportunity to find out more about Viva Vino here in Old Town Temecula on Fifth Street. Um, I really appreciate it, and hopefully we will have a bunch of people coming through this weekend. All right, thank you very much, Andrew, for being here. This is Andrea Holmes, your Temecula Valley real estate expert, and I hope you enjoyed this episode of Exploring Temecula here at Viva Vino in Old Town Temecula on Fifth Street. If you guys have any questions or any future um, preferences for my next exploration, you can email me at andrea at besttemecularealestate.com. Until next time, bye. All right, once again, thank you so much to Andrea Holmes uh, for coming down and, and, and being a part and introducing Viva Vino to you guys. I just want to let you know, um, if you are looking to come down and check us out, I uh, highly recommend that you um, call ahead to make a reservation as we really do get uh, pretty packed here on Fridays and Saturday nights. So you can call us at 951-506-5953. Um, our hours of operation, we are open Monday and Wednesdays from 5 o'clock to 9 o'clock. Uh, Thursday nights, we are open 5 o'clock to midnight. Uh, Fridays, we are open from 5 o'clock to 2 in the morning. Saturdays, we are open, open from uh, uh, 1130 to 3 o'clock, and then we're open from 5 o'clock till 2 in the morning. And then Sunday, once again, 1130 to 3 o'clock, and then we open up again from 5 o'clock till 10 o'clock. So once again, thank you guys for coming and checking out Viva Vino. Hope to see you real soon. Step, 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 five, six, seven. Make sure you're not moving your right foot. Make sure you're not doing this step and then moving this right foot. I saw a couple of you do it already. Leave the right foot alone. It's only the left foot. Look at left foot, 
right just pivots and then left foot, okay? So it's left foot seal, the one that's doing everything, okay? Here we go, one more time. Get low. Five, six, seven, and one, two, three. You gotta turn it, you gotta watch guys, on two. Hi everybody, this is Andre from Salsa Fama Dance Club. This is my wife Mercedes and my dance partner. We both uh, teach uh, regular Joes and Janes, guys and gals, to learn how to dance, okay? Salsa, bachata, cha-cha. And uh, we're here at Viva Vino every Thursday night here at uh, 8 o'clock till about 11.30 p.m. And we take beginners and turn them into dancers, okay? It's a structured dance. So we teach you the right turn, the, the left turn, the basic step, and all the signals for the guy and, and the, the, all the signals that the girl needs to know how to read them so she'll know which way to turn. And it's a good, um, good exercise, good stress releaser, and um, it's good for social, your social environment. It really like changes your life, kind of explodes your social life, really. If you got a, a boring life, let me tell you, your life's not going to be boring no more because it's going to be pretty exciting, okay? So check us out. We're here at Viva Vino every Thursday night, and um, we have a boot camp on Sunday, three-hour boot camp. We've got uh, private lessons or group lessons at one of your events or your your parties you're going to have. So uh, check out check us out on Facebook, uh, facebook.com uh, slash Salsa Fama. Or our meetup site is meetup.com slash salsa dancers. And the phone number is 951-634-4200. Come on, check it out. You know, this whole area was full of uh, cowboys, rock and rollers, and hip hoppers. And we've been uh, just restructuring most of the people here in the neighborhood and turning them into dancers, okay? So hope we'll see you one of these days at our venues. Thank you very much.